is Lana from Lana Under Pressure. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the Instant Vortex Plus and the Instant Omni to help you decide which you'd prefer. In my Facebook group and on my blog, I get a lot of questions from people wondering which one they should buy, which one is better for them. So in this video, I thought instead of doing a, a detailed review, which I have done a review on both of these separately, and you can find the link to those uh, videos in the description below. But instead, this video is gonna be more of a buyer's guide, and I'm gonna give you some comparing and contrasting information to help you decide uh, which one would work best for you and your family. Now, the obvious difference between the two, and it's, pretty obvious. And I think the most important thing that you should take into consideration when deciding which one you should buy and which is right for your family is the size. Now over here we have the Instant Vortex Plus and you can tell that it's much smaller than the Omni. The uh, Instant Vortex Plus holds 10 quarts. Um, it's 14 uh, inches high, which is almost exactly the same height as the Omni, but it's 13 by 13, thereabouts. Um, so it's a lot smaller when you compare it to the Omni and the Omni Plus, which is the same height as the Vortex, but it's 17 inches long and it's 16 inches wide, well 17 and a half. So this holds, uh, they say 27 quarts of food. Now the best way to show you the difference in the sizes and how much food will fit in each one is to show you the trays that come with it. So this is the drip tray that goes on the bottom of the Vortex. And this is about the size, exactly the size of the baking trays that come with it. And um, I've cooked uh, toast and different things on it and it can hold about, you know, four pieces of small bread. Um, it doesn't hold a lot. However, if you compare it to the baking tray for the Omni and the Omni Plus, which is exactly the same, you can tell that it's almost twice as big. So you really can hold a lot more, cook a lot more at the same time in the Omni than you could the Vortex. So if you have a larger family, I definitely would go with the Omni or the Omni Plus. Now, the Vortex does have two baking trays that you can see here. So you can cook two trays of food at the same time. The only issue with that is that I found um, is because it only has a heating element on the top, what happens is the top tray will brown, the food on the top will brown a lot faster, and so you have to rotate them, and that can be a little tricky. If you're cooking a lot of things where you wanna cook um, a bunch of food at one time, or you have a larger family, I definitely would go with the Omni. Another thing that you should take into consideration that I found uh, using both of these is not just the size, but also the weight. And um, that's important when it comes to placement, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the Instant Pot, company says that you need to have at least five inches of room all around from back to front to side because of the heat that uh, is emitted on both of these units. So, you know, if you have lower cabinets, you're gonna have to be either pulling them out or you might have to uh, have these somewhere else and then bring it out. Now, I found even though the Vortex, they say, is about 17 pounds and the Omni is a little over 21 pounds, and that may not seem like a big difference, but I have a much easier time sliding the Vortex out uh, away from my cabinets than I do with the Omni. So if that's an issue for you um, as far as being able to move things around or uh, space underneath your cabinets, you might want to take that into consideration as well. So another big difference between the two is obviously in the way they look. So in the Vortex Plus, it is has a plastic, black plastic housing, and on the inside, it's nonstick, and the trays, the baking trays and the drip tray are Teflon. Um, and the outside, because it's a plastic housing, now even though they tell you not to uh, touch it while it's on because it can get hot, I've placed my hands on the top and the side, and yes, it's hot, but it's not burning hot like a toaster oven would be. Now, when you look at the Omni, the Omni is stainless steel inside and out, and the accessories are also, uh, they are not Teflon, especially the baking tray is uh, stainless steel. So there are a lot of people who prefer the stainless steel look and also having the accessories, you would go with the Omni. But the downside of that is it does get very hot. And so, you know, if you have this running on at 400 degrees for a while on air fry, you will burn yourself if you touch the top and the side. Um, so that is something that you need to take into consideration as well. Now both the Vortex Plus and the Omni have a beautiful digital display. It's really easy to read and use, um, very user friendly. I love both of them. But what you can see in the difference uh, is that the Omni has 
two knobs. Now, it, there is a difference between the Omni and the Omni Plus display, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But just for the Omni, the two knobs, I'm gonna say that I like them much better than the Vortex Plus. The, the knobs are for time and temperature, and I have found that when you use the knobs to adjust it, it can adjust the time and temperature a lot faster than using the buttons on the Vortex Plus. Now, it's not a big deal, and with the Vortex Plus, you can adjust them quicker by holding it down, but I really like having the knobs uh, along with the digital display now, another main difference that I think is really important when deciding which one you should buy is the modes. The Omni has the toast mode, and that's a big difference. So, and something that I think you should take into consideration on what you want to use them for. If you're thinking of something to replace a toaster or a toaster oven, then I definitely would go with the Omni or the Omni Plus, and this is why. Now, you can toast bread in the Vortex Plus, but it doesn't come out as good, and you can't do as many pieces of uh, toast that you can in the Omni. I've toasted multiple pieces of bread, and they come out great. This toasts really, really well, and you can change the amount of uh, the amount on the display of things you have to toast as well as the level and which is another really important thing that I'll get into later but the Omni has a top and bottom heating element which really helps with toast just like a toaster oven it'll toast both sides of the bread at the same time not drying it out whereas the vortex only has a heating element a coil heating element at the top so i think this works much better so if toasting some toasting bread and things like that are really important to you and you're thinking of getting something to um, replace a toaster oven or a toaster i would definitely go with the omni or the omni plus now another difference that might make a difference in which one you choose is in how they heat and the different elements inside that they use for heating. So the Vortex Plus has a coil, a really great heating coil element at the top right underneath the fan. So it really does a great job with air frying and moving the air around. It's, it's absolutely perfect. I love this thing. The Omni has the same type of coil and fan. However, the difference is it also has two heating tube elements on the top and on the bottom. And not only that, but you can use in certain modes, will turn off the fan and only use the heating elements, or you can control the fan to go high or low, whereas in the Vortex you can't. It only has one level, the fan turns only at uh, one speed, and you can't control that. So if you're looking for something where you want a really precise cooking, where you want to be able to control the fan speed, the heating elements, top or bottom, then you're going to go with the Omni or the Omni Plus uh, and not the Vortex. However, again, the Vortex cooks things air fryer as far as air frying and baking, roasting, rotisserie. This one does the job just as well. Another main difference between the Vortex Plus and the Omni and Omni Plus are the accessories that it comes with. Now first, that I had mentioned before, the Vortex Plus comes with a baking tray, two baking trays, and they're Teflon coated, where the Omni and Omni Plus, the main baking tray right here, is not. It's stainless steel, so that might be uh, something you wanna take into consideration. Now, the Omni and Omni Plus uh, both have a rotisserie spit, it comes with a rotisserie spit, two forks, and the screws to screw that in, just like with the Vortex. So the Vortex has one and the exact same things as the Omni does. And as you can see though, that the one for the Omni is a lot bigger than the one for the Vortex. But I will say that you really shouldn't keep that in mind as far as pound wise, because both of the Omni and the Vortex can only go up to four pounds on the rotisserie spit. So even though this one's a little larger, it doesn't make much of a difference as far as pound wise. You really have to stay four pounds and under. Um, one difference though that I do like when it comes to the Omni, and I don't think this is a big buying uh, decider, but I will say that when they um, engineered or they put together the rotisserie spit for the Omni and the Omni Plus, the way they have the screws are much easier to screw in uh, on the rotisserie than it is on the uh, Vortex. The Omni comes with an air fryer basket that looks like this. Um, and this is what you would use for french fries and things like that. Now one thing that people really love and I love, uh, that I love about the Vortex much better is that the Vortex comes with this great 
round enclosed cage type basket for rotisserie functions. And this is awesome. I've cooked french fries in this. I've cooked uh, broccoli, hot dogs. And what this does is it rotates things around. So it kind of acts a lot more like you're frying in an oil because the air kind of is able to circulate all around the different things in it. And that's something that I really like about the Vortex that the Omni doesn't have. Now I'm not gonna go into great detail on what accessories fit in which one of these. I do that more in my review of the Vortex and the Omni, which you can find in the description below. However, there are two accessories that only fit in the Omni and the Omni Plus that I wanted to share with you. Because for me, uh, it might be something you wanna consider when you're deciding between the two. The first is this kind of shish kebab cage. And I found this on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and put a link to where you can find and buy one in the description below as well um, but this is really fantastic I've used it a couple of times it comes with this these two round pieces and the skewers and they fit right on the spit and use the screws that come with the Omni and it fits perfectly in there works great it wrote it rotates around um, and it's it's re it's really awesome I really really love it now you're probably thinking well if it fits on the spit with the screws of the Omni, and I said that it's exactly the same as the one in the Vortex, then why wouldn't fit in that? Now, it will fit on the spit with the screws of the Vortex, however, because of the length of the skewers, it's too big to fit and rotate in the Vortex. Now, somebody uh, on my Facebook group had a great idea and was like, well, can't you just, you know, cut off the ends of the skewers, and if you wanna do that and try to see if you can make it fit, go for it. For me, I'm not that handy. You know, so I, you know, I ain't doing any metal work. Um, but I love the fact that this works in the Omni. Now, another thing, a lot of people prefer the Vortex because it comes with that air fryer uh, rotating cage. However, I found a cage that also works using the um, spit and the screws for the Omni and fits in there and rotates in that. And I found this on Amazon as well. And I will put the link in the description below so you can buy one. Now, it's not as large as the one in the Vortex, so you can't do as much. And because you have to insert the spit through the middle, it also takes up some of the space. So I do prefer, if I'm gonna be using a, you know, like a cage style or anything that I need to use the air frying cage for or the basket for, I'll go ahead and use my Vortex. But if that is a consideration on one over the other, there are ways to get around that. Now there's also a big difference between the time and temperature range that both of these can go through. So now the Vortex, the time range is from one minute to 60 minutes, where with the Omni, the time range is one minute to 72 hours. So there's a big difference, especially if you're dehydrating, uh, you can do that a lot longer and you can put this on a lot longer without having to restart it. Also, the temperature range on the Vortex is a low of 120 to a high of 400 degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit. For the Omni, it can go as low as 85 degrees and as high as 450. And the Omni Plus can go lower, uh, even lower than this one can. So that might be something, depending on what type of things you want to cook, that you want to take uh, into consideration. Another point that you may want to take into consideration when deciding which one to buy is ease of cleaning. Now that said, I use both of these on a regular basis, sometimes multiple times a day, and they are easy to clean. However, I find that the Vortex, when you're cooking things that splatter a lot, especially bacon, now bacon, I cook solely in the Vortex. Bacon tends to splatter, uh, has a lot of grease. This is so easy to clean when it comes to that. Not just because it has a coating on the inside, but also because unlike the Omni, the Vortex, the door comes right off for easy cleaning. Now, that makes it so much easier for me to go in there and all I use is a Norwex cloth that's wet, a wet Norwex cloth, and you can wipe down the inside, up on the top, really easy to do. Um, so cooking bacon and things that splatter like that, it's much easier to clean up when it comes to the Vortex. Whereas with the Omni, um, it is easy to clean. And if you'll notice, um, I've used this multiple times a day as well. And you can see that it looks relatively new. However, it does take a lot more time to clean this. And I use, sometimes I'll have to use like a scrub sponge. 
um, on the stainless steel parts because it doesn't have that coating and also because it has uh, heating tube elements on the top and the bottom. So when the grease gets on those, it can be a little difficult to get into the spaces and you usually have to get in there with your Norwex brush or with a scrub brush and scrub that down. Now, it does have a drip tray and the drip tray is a slide out one but it too is also stainless steel. So I usually have to soak this when I have uh, something like grease that's uh, you know, really coated on there. It takes a little work to get it clean. Um, so when I'm trying to cook things that splatter a lot, like bacon, I never cook it in the Omni. I only cook it in the Vortex because it's just, it can be a little difficult, especially up at the top and in between the heating elements to clean really well. So now if you've decided that you wanted to go with the Omni, your next decision then would have to be, do you want to go with the Omni or do you want to go with the Omni Plus? Now there is a price difference, so you're going to have to take that into consideration. But I will say the Omni Plus uh, has about the same dimensions. It weighs a little bit more. I think it weighs like two or three pounds. Uh, it's two or three pounds heavier. Um, but dimension wise and space wise, it holds about, it holds the same. It comes with the same accessories. There are just a few differences that, you know, might be of interest to you. So the main difference you might want to take into consideration when deciding between the two is the Omni Plus has two different modes that the Omni doesn't. The Omni Plus has a slow cook mode and it also has a proof mode for proofing breads. So that means that the Omni Plus can go a little bit lower in temperature, has a different range in temperature and time by just a few degrees. So if those are things that you might think that you might want to use a little bit more, then the Omni Plus has that where the Omni doesn't. Another difference is in the display. They both have digital display and knobs, but the knobs on the Omni Plus on one knob is time and temperature and then the other one is presets. Now, what the Omni Plus has similar to like the Instant Pot is the Omni Plus they've included presets. So you can preset things like not only just roast, but you can also do pre presets to roast chicken or roast beef and it will preset it a time and temperature for you. And that might be something that you might like um, when it comes to deciding between the two. For me, I don't find that that's very useful. Even with my Instant Pot, I very rarely use the presets. I like to cook everything on manual, and the same comes with the air fryer. I like, I find that I like to set my time and temperature when I'm doing the recipes, and I really don't use the presets that much. But if that is something that's interest for you, and you have an Instant Pot, and you love using the preset time and temperatures, the Omni Plus does that, and that can be really helpful for you. So I hope you found this video useful in helping you to decide which one of these to buy. Or if you're like me, just make the decision easy and buy both of them, right? And I did buy them. I'm not sponsored, so I didn't get anything for free. So these opinions are all my own. Um, but I will say if you have any other questions or comments or you're still having some trouble in figuring it out, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page or on my blog and I'll definitely get back to you to help you decide which one of these would be best for you. Thanks for watching.